Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Courtney and today we are testing out robe curls. This started becoming popular probably about a year ago and I've been wanting to try it and today we're finally gonna do that. And this video is gonna be much more casual than my last few videos because I just wanted to sit down, chill, and connect with you guys a little bit better. And before anybody asks, no, I didn't dye my hair. I toned it a few days ago, so no, there's a difference between dyeing it and toning it, so don't come for me. So I have two robe ties here, and my initial thought was to kind of do it like diagonal, like this, and do like four different sections. But from the videos I've seen, it's more beneficial to have a thicker tie. All right, so I'm just gonna leave my part where it is. Like that try to clip it down so it stays. So based off my memory of what people were doing for this, they took a section on each side and almost like braided it. So they went over and crossed over and then went under, I guess, and then did the same thing again. Oh wait, I gotta watch a tutorial again. Across the front of the rope, wrapping it underneath the rope and back out where it started. I do find it easier to swap the hair into opposite hands just to make it easier, a bit like when you're doing hmm. a French braid. What? <laughs> what is happening? Went over and under, and then she took the back piece and went over and under. This is a lot of brain work. Started. So you're literally it's just similar braiding. similar doing a ordinary French braid, except when you're using the robe through the center, you kind of want to keep it as straight as possible. You're French braiding. So this is essentially the middle piece of the French braid, based on what I can see that she's doing. So if that's the case, I should be able to do this. I'm just going to use one of the rope strands because for now it's way too difficult doing it with that when it's so thick. <sighs> okay. <laughs> wrapping it all the way around the back and it comes back out where it started. So it's literally okay. just wrapping Got it around that. the robe. It's such a simple yep. technique. Got it. Then I'm taking the section directly behind the first section. Again, about an inch and a half wide, inch and a half in depth. Taking that across over. the front of the robe wrapping it underneath the robe and back out where it started. I do find it easier to swap the hair into opposite hands. So now I understand what she was actually doing and it is basically a French braid, but you're kind of doing an extra loop around. So she takes one section in the front, loops it over and underneath. Then she takes a piece from the back And she goes over and under the rope, keeping the two pieces separate. <laughs> then you take the piece closest to your eye and just add some hair to it. Go over and under the twist. Then take the piece farther away from your head, add some hair to it and pull it over and under. So it's basically adding hair and bringing it under. Adding hair and pulling it over and under. And going over and under. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna take some water and spray it over my hair so that it can be a little bit damp and maybe get more of a curl that way. I didn't dampen my hair before I did the robe curls because sometimes there's some spots that just will stay damp and they won't fully dry and then the curl will kind of fall out. But just spraying it a little bit. So now that I have these two long ends of the robe, I'm just gonna put them on top of my head kind of tie them in a knot so that it's kind of just out of the way, like so. 
And I'm also gonna test to see how long the curls actually last. If I can make them last until tomorrow, that would be amazing, but we'll just have to see. So it's a few hours later and it's about time for me to go to my eye appointment. So I gotta take this out and we'll see if it works. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at these curls. Oh my God. <laughs> this worked better than any hair curler I've ever used in my life. <laughs> what? That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do this like every day. I'm gonna just fluff it a little bit. First of all, I look like a completely different person only because my hair looks a bit darker because I toned it, I promise, not dye. I just, I can't get over it. I'm gonna literally do this like every single day. I honestly didn't think this was even gonna work, mainly because my hair is pretty short and every person I've seen do it has really long hair. I know I probably didn't explain very well what I was doing because I really had no idea what I was doing in like the first half of this video. But once I got the hang of it, it was really easy. But again, if you're not good at French braiding, it might be really difficult for you. Maybe I can make another video with some practice and like really explain how she did it and how you can get these curls also. It's the next day and I wanted to show you how my hair kind of held up throughout the rest of the night and into the morning. So to keep the curls as protected as possible, I slept with my silk cap on. I actually sleep with this every night. I think I need to wash it. It looks like I got toner on it from the other night. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description box. But it will, ugh, it's hot in here. So this is how the curls held up without any hairspray or anything. It's definitely not as curly as it was yesterday, but it's still really cute it looks like little beachy waves and i think that this is a great method to curl your hair if you are looking for a quicker no heat option like i said it only took me like three ish hours maybe even less to get my hair to curl like that and to make it last longer i would definitely use hairspray next time i just am not a big fan of hairspray or dry shampoo or anything that like makes my hair feel gritty so if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already i do make a lot of hair videos on my channel but that's not the the only thing that I do but if you do like hair videos I'm gonna leave a link to this playlist over here so you can entertain yourself forever on all of my different hair content and I will see you guys very soon with another video